President Donald Trump accused companies like Facebook, Twitter, and Google of colluding with Democrats to censor his supporters online to their political advantage. Actually it's incredible that I won the election because you know it was so rigged against me," he said. It wasn't Russians. Russia collusion was a delusion. But what there is, is there was collusion between the Democrats and these tech companies. The president spoke about political bias in top Silicon Valley companies in an exclusive interview with Breitbart News on Monday. The president said that any Republican running in 2020 would face a tremendous disadvantage in social media after he surprised tech companies by beating Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election. It's totally steered, which has been proven now, totally steered toward the Democrats, and yet I won, he said. Breitbart News editor-in-chief Alex Marlowe told the president he would be running against not only the Democrats and the media, but also against the big tech companies during his presidential run in 2020. The president responded by noting Senator Elizabeth Warren's presidential campaign proposal to break up the big tech companies. Isn't it funny? Elizabeth Warren called for their total breakup, he said. I do smile though, they're so protective of her. He sympathized with critics of the big tech companies like Facebook, Google, and Twitter who wanted to regulate the companies. I understand a lot of people wanting to look into it. I mean normally I'd like to say let it be free, let it all be free, but it's not free, Trump said. It's really run by a small number of people. The president also referred to reports from Breitbart News exposing tech bias against conservatives in companies like Twitter, Facebook, and Google. Now we've seen it, now we've caught them. We've seen the speeches, we've seen the in-house little videos that somehow got released, to me, that's a very big scandal," he said. The big tech masters of the universe have made it clear that they are dedicating themselves to not allowing a repeat of Trump's 2016 election win. During an all-hands company meeting after the election, Google VP Kent Walker said that nationalism must be just a hiccup in the march towards progress. Google accomplishes this goal by manipulating search autocomplete results, among other techniques. Meanwhile, social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter are constantly innovating new ways to stifle conservative media and prominent figures, including deboosting posts, shadowbanning and blacklisting conservatives to stop the spread of popular ideas, and tinkering with algorithms to dampen conservative media while propping up the mainstream media. All while they enjoy special legal protections under federal law and their CEOs blindly claim to Congress that their companies have no political bias. The president specifically criticized Twitter for blacklisting conservatives on their platform. Twitter's horrible what they're doing to people, they're blanking them out, what's going on with Twitter is terrible for conservatives, he said. Trump again pointed to a growing political movement around breaking up the big companies monopolizing tech and online speech. A lot of people are talking about breaking them up. They're dishonest, there's tremendous dishonesty, he said. And it's really all steered toward the Republicans and the conservative movement. It's a hundred percent steered against. When asked by Breitbart News reporter Charlie Spiring about how he planned to fight tech bias in the 2020 election, he replied, You fight it by just being good. You got to be really good. It's much harder for a conservative Republican to win than it is for a liberal Democrat, 